Hello everyone, Toad69500 here, and today I'm here with a bit of a different video, and there's a tutorial on how to make or mod your own characters into SRB2 cart. Uh, I decided to do this because I don't see any other tutorials on YouTube, which is a shame, uh, so I had to figure it out on my own, and now I'm like, if somebody wants to know it, I'll just help them myself, because, you know, it's kind of hard to figure it out on your own. Anyways, what you're going to need, link in the description, is Cart Maker. Cart Maker is uh, the easiest way to make carts. There are other ways, but they are not as simple to use as Cart Maker. So, so it'll come with two folders, uh, which you are going to need to use. That being, example and example transparent. Now, inside these folders are uh, the audio files and graphics and code for your character. So what you want to do is you want to copy one of these files and just paste them wherever you want. I like to keep it all in here. And then name the file what do you want to name your uh, character. Now, you are going to need to go into here, into your, uh, into an, like a program like Paint or Photoshop or just a, a program of your choice that you can use to create images and draw in. And then what you're going to need to do is you go to Card Maker, you go to your character or or just the example sheet. Actually, no. Yeah, you, you actually no. You need to go to your character. You go into the character folder and you click on sprites. Now I use the one without a transparent background, but that really helps because it shows you what each sprite is for. You can see there's some empty card sprites, and here you can see this is the forward view from the from the like diagonally from the side back. This is for when you're taking a turn. And these, this row down here is for when you're drifting. That's why the arrows don't seem to match up. And uh, all the way down here we have the hurt sprites. And these are the portraits. Now, uh, you can start, you know, drawing your characters on top of, you know, the, the carts. But... For this tutorial, I'm just going to do something else, and I'm just going to copy these sprites. I'm going to copy these ring sprites onto there. They might be a little bit too big, but I'll find that out soon enough. Um, you're, well, for the background, we got to choose one of these colors because it will remove these colors. You can set the colors yourself to uh, in the text file, which we'll get to later because we need to go in there anyway to uh, customize the stats. Something you might have noticed is uh, the green. The cards are green and the same goes for the portraits of the flaky. Uh, well these green colors are the ones you can modify in game. Uh, so I could change the ring colors to green but uh, I'm too lazy, so we're just gonna go and uh, fill in just the open spaces of the ring to uh, showcase that. And this one right here, this is the uh, signpost. So, so when you're all done with your graphics, it's time to head over, you can just save it. And now it should be good. And next up, we go 
here. Open up the folder and uh, it's time to work on some other stuff. Now as you can see we have all the these are all the .aug files, which are the sound effects. We'll get to that later. Um, right now they're all uh, sound effects from Sonic. So those are all Sonic. Anyways, when you open this up, uh, you can see there's a lot of code here, but we only need to worry about this stuff. So. Uh, we gotta set the name for our character. Then, here come the stats. Uh, we also gotta change this, although I'm not exactly sure how this all works. I'm still learning how this also works, folks, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, here are the stats. Right now it's 5-5, five, five, which is in the middle. Now, if I remember correctly, the first one is... Yeah, the first one is for the speed, and the second one is for the weight. So... This is the lower, the higher the number, the faster you go, and the lower the number, the better the. I think it's accelerate. I think it's handling actually, but I'm not sure. Uh, I, I forget the grid right now, but and this one, the lower the number, the heavier you actually know. The higher the number, the heavier you are, and the lower the number, the better. You know, the lighter you are, but you know. Stats. It's a bit getting used to, it's kind of like the opposite of how it usually works. So basically this is your Y and this is your X. So that's all you really need to know. Uh, at that you can change it of course. Let's say we want our character to be extremely uh, heavy and nine is the max um, I think one or zero is the is the start so there you go and here this sets the transparent colors you don't need to change that you can only you only need to change that if you know that changes you should change the background or you could just use the transparent one and then this line of code just doesn't exist uh, and then here we have our breath color uh, and if you go on a character and you go to the colors and press space it will go switch to the color which is good for that character this is that color so you can go into, into the game and see what names uh, you want uh, just for this tutorial we'll, we'll change it to blue Save that, that should all be good. Um, now, next up are the sounds. And I would uh, say open up uh, Audacity for this. Uh, leave a link to Audacity in the description. It's actually a very handy program when it comes to sound stuff. So you go and You look for your files that you want to use. Um, I'm just going to use some music for the sound effects. So let's say this is the entirety of Labyrinth Zone from the 8-bit, uh, from 8-bit Sonic. Uh, and here is the act start jingle. Now this act starting jingle is going to be our boost sound. So, I mean, you can edit it, you can cut it down, stuff like that. Um, 
So, when you're all done with your sound effect, you go and export it as an AUG file, and you go to character, and you select whichever you one you want to re replace. Now we want to replace the boost sound, so we go for boost one. We save it. I'll ask if you want to replace it. That's all good. And now sometimes it will crash while doing uh, this, which is a problem, but I can't really seem to fix it. Like right now, it's crashed. Uh, if I click, it'll crash the program, as you can see. Okay, I think it was just because of that my uh, uh, that my recording was on, because now it's good again. So that's strange. But if it crashes while uh, exporting, you might need to change the sound effect again because it might not have registered. So uh, we'll do that again just to be sure off camera. So we are done with that. Uh, now let's pick just just a snippet from Labyrinth Zone. Uh, let's say this like part oh, Roy for in the song that I fought. So just a snippet. We'll pick this this piece of music. Um, is there any way we can? There you go. We have just done the sound effects. Now, you go back to Cart Maker, and the final thing you need to do to complete it is drag the folder onto here, to Cart Maker itself. You don't need to open the program or anything, just drag the folder onto it, and it, then it will make a file for you. Now, next up, if you know how to install mods, you know the rest uh, of this. And that is now you grab the folder and put it in your mods. I have also made a separate molder folder for uh, where I put the mods that I'm, I've made. So, now, let's head over to SRB cart and uh, see if it works. So, we've just activated the mod, now then, we, let's go and start a game, wait, no, of course, we gotta select our character, and, um, as you can see, when we press space, it goes to color blue, but you can see there's a cart underneath it, and this isn't just a glitch in the character select screen, it the character is actually like this, as you can see here in gameplay, it's also there. And now this is because, um... Now the game works is there's two layers, uh... And the, and the layer for the wheels to... For turning animation is still here, so... Yeah. Now you don't need to do any of this uh, if you keep the cart the same uh, if your character is just sitting in the cart but if you are changing the entire vehicle uh, this is a, an important portion down here these are for the wheels as you can see there here's frame one here's frame two there's an extra shine so uh, a good reference uh, I have a. Hold on. I can show you if you want to change the entire vehicle. Uh, you should do it. For example, here uh, is a tank. I, as you can see, I removed here the tracks, and here we have two frames of the tracks changing and driving. So that's how you should do it if you. So you can do it if uh, just make sure that the areas 
just copy the, the frames up here down here and then just up here remove the wheel areas and then make uh, driving frames now let's head back to the other sprites and luckily for us it's just a flying ring so we don't need to do anything besides just uh, remove these sprites down here now if we save it we go and grab this again put it onto cart maker put it back into made by me just replace the old file and now okay so we select our mod and we go to multiplayer and there he is the, the color press space it should become blue we made him super heavy as you can see with the stats now let's go to green hills zone and just him out green hill zone isn't that good of a place to test out characters um i would uh recommend Pleasure Castle because there there are explosive barrels that can show uh, off the hurting sound effects. Now, as you can see, there is no cart underneath us, so we're all good. And now let's see if no, let's uh, hear if we can let's see if we can hear any uh, of our custom sounds.